Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Jones and welcome back to another one. As you probably already know, I just went to go pick up the Raptor Force yesterday with my boy Dave and we did a pickup video. If you have not watched that pickup video, I will link it right above me. Go ahead and click that card and check it out before you watch this one. I appreciate all the love, man, all the positivity, all the great comments y'all gave me on that last video. I really appreciate it. Y'all already know we're going on, boy. I'm going to keep this content rolling, you feel me? And I do feel like if you wanted this pair, I think you probably got this pair. I seen some people saying they didn't get them, but maybe y'all just slacking a little bit too much. Baby. All in all, resale not that high for the shoe. So if you want it, you can probably get it for at least, I think my size is like 250. So after you pay your taxes for this shoe, I think it was like 217. So you know what I'm saying? They ain't really too much of a retail, man. So you can still pick these up if you want them. Alright, now I got some good news and some bad news. Now I don't know really how to how the hell to say this, but I'ma say it. It's raining hard as hell outside, bro. Like, like hard as hell. So I'm probably not gonna be able to do no on foot because I just got these damn Jordans and uh, I ain't trying to ruin them. But other than that, boy, you know what I'm saying? We lit. Here we have the Jordan box, man. Y'all already know size 12 gangs will be repping. I only show boxes because a lot of people like boxes. But the reason why we all came here. Ah, y'all see these Raptor Forge, bro. I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all said in the comments that they was fire, and bruh, I agree like a thousand percent. This might just be my favorite Jordan release of 2018, because I'm not about the hype. I know Off-White's released, I know uh, the Cactus Jacks released, and I got the Cactus Jacks right here behind me. These are still DS2, so I mean, I know that Cactus Jacks are fire, but I feel like this Raptor 4, to me, is just doper because... I feel like these Raptor Fours to me are just a little bit doper because I feel like they flew under the radar a lot. You know, for a long time, those Cactus Jack Fours was like the most hyped shoe of the year. I mean, that was like the talk of the town for at least two to three months, man. It, maybe even longer than that. And then it seemed like it just died down. Prices went from like $600 to now I think you could probably get a pair of DS for like $350, $320. With this shoe here, man, it's not, the resale is not even over $250. Uh, the material is absolutely amazing. The colorway is absolutely amazing. And I said that when I first seen pictures, I didn't honestly think they would drop these because a lot of times you might just get new colorways flying around the internet that never drop. You know what I'm saying? They never come out. I thought this shoe would be one of those shoes that never really see the light of day, but always look like a great idea. We've been very tough on Jordan brand for coming out with like the um, great fives with no shoelaces, for dropping like 35 different Jordan 1s already and we only in August and for coming out with like 14 11s when they used to only just be one around the holidays But we have to give them hella props when it comes to this Jordan 4 because you got to understand I know that we still want the old joints the retros and and like the classic sneakers But they will never get ahead if they don't be innovative and come up and create colorways like these Travis Scott Fours and just stuff like that. They have to switch it up. They have to come out with new colorways, but it just have to make sense. So we're gonna start off with the bottom sole of the shoe. The bottom sole of the shoe is very dope to me because I just love this Raptor Four colorway. At the bottom sole of the shoe, you have that Raptor Red, the Raptor Purple. It's like a purplish blue. I don't even know what to call it. I'm just call it Raptor Purple. And you always gonna get your red jump man right there on the sole of the sneaker. Now this shoe is very dope, and like I said, the colorway is kind of vintage for me. So I'm loving the bottom. Of the soul it pops out a lot of color moving up to the mid so you get that wrapped the purple but the hardest part to me about the shoe in the mid so is the speckles the black speckles on the shoe really made the sneaker pop and i love that aspect about it i don't think this shoe would be that fire without it and y'all might think i'm crazy because i'm like speckles really made that big of a difference i promise you if you were to see this shoe without the black speckles don't get me wrong it'll still be fire but those little small details is what make shoes really pop. You know what I'm saying? You don't really even notice it, but subconsciously you know it, and, and it's very, very fire. Now this shoe coming through with the all suede uppers, and it's a good suede, man. You can even see the change of direction. I know I came from here. Let me see if I can get it on the camera. Okay, yeah, I don't think the camera's picking it up. Actually, it is. You can see the change in suede and direction on the sneaker. That's always a good way for all my newest sneaker heads out there. That's always a good way to see if the material is good on whatever you rocking. If you can move the suede like this from right to left and you can actually see a difference in the uh, pattern of the suede, then you know it actually has good material. This Jordan 4 has all suede uppers and like I said, it's a very good suede. Very, very good, feels great. And like I said, it's soft as hell. If y'all haven't seen my pickup video, this like that. Krispy Kreme, hot and ready, just soft, bro. Just like buttery soft. You got your Raptor Red eyelids going around the top of the uppers too. That also make this shoe pop. If these were black or even purple, it would not be the same shoe. I feel like they did the colorway 
amazingly. They spread out each and every last Raptor colorway amazingly to the point where you just felt it. You felt that vibe. Of course, you got that cage on both sides and going up the tongue as well. That's always been like a Jordan 4 thing. Like that's that's a staple in a Jordan 4. You gotta have the cage, which is what I call it, uh, going up the sides and also going up the tongue of the sneaker. Moving along to the back tab, you get that purple Jumpman with the Jordan logo on the back, which is always very dope to see that. Some people say they would've liked to see Nike Air on the back. I don't get how you would put Nike Air on this, but I mean, I, I, I guess, bro. I, I, I guess, I, I see you. Last but not least, we got the Jumpman logo on the tongue that looks stitched on pretty dope, and that's the same soft suede material that's on the entire uppers that you get on the Jumpman, and you see like this little small square patch that they have for the Jumpman logo on the Jumpman. And then you get that henna red behind the tongue that pops up on top of the tongue. Like that gives it another extra little flair. I'm telling you, all these small details make it happen, bro. Another thing that I really loved, I had to go grab the other pair because the pair I had didn't have it, was this all black hang tag. That is super fire. Of course, I'm taking my hang tags off. I don't wear my Jordan 4s with the hang tags on. No disrespect to my hang tag guys out there. Do your thing. Me personally, I do love to switch up from the orange hang tag to the black hang tag. It just gives like a more exclusive or more Raptor vibe to me. Like it's all about the vibe with this shoe, bro. This shoe is just, it's just fire. All in all, I'll get this shoe a 10 out of 10. I don't see any flaws, anything that I don't like. I don't see, bro, like I said, this is my favorite Jordan. Until right now, until right now, this is my favorite Jordan release of 2018. I know more hype shit than came out. If you watch my channel, you know I really don't give a damn about it. Do I go after shoes that I like? Absolutely. And sometimes they might be hyped up, but I go after what I like. I love the hell out of these, and I was super happy I picked them up. Let me know down below in the comment section if you picked these up. Also, we are on a grind at 10,000 subscribers. If you have not already hit that subscribe, what the hell did I just say? If you have not already hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and hit that, man. We need that 10K. I appreciate all the new subs that came over this way. Y'all already know we're going on, boy. Follow me on IG, which is in your bottom left-hand corner. And until next time, man, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. I appreciate y'all for watching as always, man. Gang, gang. Thank you.